This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. This simple program should show a random cat and the name of the breed every time the user clicks the button. A li library called cats has been added to the program to help. Let me click on the data. Yep, there it is. Here's all the info in the table. And I assume then the functions are here. All right, so read the documentation for each function in the cat library. Use the provided functions to finish the app. Oh, they started us with a lot here. Cool. The user should see a new random cat and the name of the breed every time they click. All right, manage assets, which I always click on because I'm dumb. Manage libraries and cats. All right, so there's a random breed. So that's going to return a string, right, of the breed list. So we are going to have, yep, they get a column cats and the name of all the cats, which is going to be the breed. So this is now a list of the breeds. And then they use a random number to generate a random index from 0 to 1 minus the length, because uh, index is end at 1 minus the length. So, and then it returns whatever breeds at that index. And it's returning a string. Keep in mind, these comments help a ton. All right, breed image, search breed. So we would pass this a cat as a parameter, a name. Yep, a name, string. And it breed, uh, and we get this variable breed, and it's equal to all of the cat's names. Then we get a, okay, this is a list of the breeds, a list of images. We loop through, using i to iterate through, all of the breeds. So index 0, index 1, index 2. And we're checking if the breed, right, if that name is equal to the name we passed. If it is equal, then this returns the image. It returns the image because the image would also be at the same index, right? If the name at index 2 is equal to the name we passed up here, well, then the image at index 2 would also be the image we would need. Otherwise, it will just return the string not found. All breeds return. Okay, this just returns a list of all the breeds, a list of all the images. Okay, cool. So next, on click, write your code. So there's a lot of things we could do. Let's go ahead though and with, let's use random breed and it will return a breed for us. Then we need to search for that breed. Okay, so I'm gonna do a variable var and I'm gonna say, um, actually I'm just gonna, my variable is gonna be cat. Okay, so this is my cat. What's it equal to? It will be equal to whatever returns from one from the function breed. So we need to know the breed of the cat. So I'm going to use the random breed function. And remember, what returns is a random breed from that list. It's a string. Now, how do we get an image? Well, they have a, that done for us too. Method breed cat image search breed. Well, we could set this equal to a variable, right? In fact, I'll do that at first, but then I'll show you a bit of a shortcut. And I'm just going to say pick and cat image. Okay. And then what am I going to put in the search? Well, search for a cat because that's the breed's name, right? Boom, boom. So now we have a cat and pick. What do we need to do? Well, we need cat image right here, this idea to be set, and then this box breed name. So let's go over to UI controls. Let's do set text first, and then we'll do the set property. Okay, what are we going to set the text of? Well, we're setting the text of breed name. And what are we setting it to? Well, our name is going to be stored in that variable cat. All right, now, what are we going to set this property? What's this property? Oh, yeah, it's going to be the cat image. So what do we want to change? Well, cat image, we want to change the image and then what's the string we're going to use well it's pick right it's what's returned from this when that searches for our image choose oh nope what am i doing i'm just going to delete everything in here sometimes it will fight you it's easier to go into text mode at times and then i'm going to write the word pick okay let's test this out show me <gasps> show me show me show me boom 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 i'm Having fun.
All right. Now here's the shortcut. This is great. This is a good way to do it. It's very clear. It's very, that's freaking me out. It's very clear. It's very readable, right? I understand what's going on. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a picture. Oh, what's this? This must be the cat. And I could have put cat name, I guess, but all right. So here's another way to do it though. I don't need this second variable. Okay. Cause I don't ever use pick other than here. I only use pick once. If you're only using a variable once, well, instead of having a variable, boom. I'm now just going to set the property of cat image, right? Cat image is going to be set to the image. What image? Oh, run this function. So then it goes and grabs the function out of our cats uh, library and runs it. And so now I just skipped out on having that variable, variable all together. And if you, no, that's good. Ta-da! And it should work the same. So many cats. All right, onward.